Welcome to another Uncertain video. Today I went on a PvP Polaris server and we're going to do very good and profitable raids including bunkers and huge metal bases. If you guys enjoyed these videos and want to see more make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. If we reach that like goal I will do a full series. Also subscribe if you haven't already, we're trying to get 40,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize please join my discord at discord.gg slash ldg and contact me there. Today we're going to run another one which is a blossoming fancy glasses. If you guys want to win this mythical make sure that you have like, subscribe and comment something below. If you are a channel member you also have a higher chance of winning and if someone is interested in becoming a member the link will be in the description below. Also if you haven't joined my 5 mythical giveaway yet make sure to do so the link will be in the description as well. I would like to introduce you to today's sponsor, Hypass, which is also the same server that this video was recorded on. Hypass is a PvP network that consists of many semi-vanilla and shop servers. They range from official maps to curated maps such as Arid, Alver, Kuwait and Polaris. Both 100 times and 10 times server. Soon we will have Buak as our 5th curated map. PvE and vanilla servers are in the making and most of our servers are EU based, however a little portion in NA. There will also be some changes to the servers including a new anti-cheat system along with brand new plugins and so on that will be getting added. Events are not yet available but they are still in the making as well. Giveaways for in-game perks and skins will start happening very soon. They currently have a 35% sale right now, however if you use the code LIAMDOESGAMES you will get an extra 15% off for 50% in total. The link will be in the description below. Also if you guys are interested in playing in the server, the IP and port will be in the description below and let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, I am in Polaris on a high pass server. Let me just turn my cosmetics off. Now this server is mostly a PvP server and I have been told that there are quite a ton of raids to do here. So that's exactly what we're going to focus on today. Probably we'll get to do a short movie today that's going to be quite epic. There is a Moses kit, it's pretty nice. But yes, today I will not stop until I actually get myself some good high tier base raids. Now I'm not gonna be solo, I'm gonna be duo, a teammate is going to join. And today I do want to build a base, maybe we'll get to do some quests. I do want to run into PvP, obviously, but I'm probably going to build my base very close to Fort Evergreen, to be honest. I do want to be close to military. Now, on the server, there are quite some people. Not that much. It's quite early in the morning, but later on, more will join. All right, as for loot, it is well, four items dropped, so it's not that high times loot. So that's pretty chill as well. So we still need to grind quite a ton, but I actually think there is a shop system on the server. I am unsure, but we'll check it out later. Obviously, we're going to have to go to the dead zone, do the usual stuff, basically. We'll try to speed run it as well, as always. Alright, so well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to St. Erickson, try to get copper coils. If we don't get any, then I'll just run straight to Hayes, try to get myself a boss zombie kill. And from there, maybe we'll get ourselves a drive or broken gas mask. That's honestly what we need at the start. We got ourselves an axe as well. Yeah, Forageable only dropped one item, so that's good. It's not that high times. Yeah, my teammate is on. Alright, so we're over at St. Erickson. Yes, sir, they are unbroken. That's good. Nobody was here. There's a billion zombies following me. I am going to die, probably. All right, let's just evade them. Let's go out here so that we can actually kill them because I don't want to die by a storm of zombies. And yeah, there was the second one as well. So, so as soon as we get them, we'll probably just put them in vault and we'll go straight to Haze. That's the plan. All right, so I actually TP to my teammate instead. We'll go to Hayes later. We should focus on building a base, to be honest. But he's over at the town. He's been farming a bit. Didn't really get anything special though. But yeah, we're close to Fort Evergreen. Oh, is he killing someone? Oh no, I think he's just shooting down zombies. I do want to find PvP though, I really really do. Because PvP is like the easiest method to get loot on Polaris and on any other map. Yeah, he's in the gun store, he's running around with a shotgun, this one dropped a magazine. Oh yeah, we should build maybe like somewhere up there, we're not that far away. But on the way I will chop down as much trees as possible. Hopefully it's like one shot, no it's not. Right, it's two shot, that's not too bad. And yeah, wood goes instantly in your inventory on the server by the way, which is very very cool. I don't think it auto stacks though. That would be even better. Yeah, whatever you harvest straight in your inventory. Absolutely lovely. We're gonna chop down trees much quicker now. Just cause we're not gonna be picking them all up. Yeah, Frosta got a car as well. I don't really wanna run around in a car. I'm afraid I will get completely lasered down by some random. You're getting quite a ton of logs. We already stacked quite a bit. Maybe later on we'll also upgrade it to metal, but right now that's not really that important. I just want somewhere to store all of my loot. But maybe we'll do two floors today. I don't want a small base. Right, I think we also got like already a hundred wood. <laughs> We're getting way too much. Yeah, let's stack again. Oh, cyan crystal, lovely. That's going straight in my vault as well. All right, I think I got enough logs, to be honest. I don't know what Frosta's doing, he's just driving behind me. Yeah, I think this is a good location, somewhere around here. We still need to make beds and storage and everything as well. 
Uh, start building. For now, we'll get ourselves a 2x1 with a triangle at the side for a honeycomb. Get ourselves a billion pillars. And so this location, we're close to melee, close to dead zone. Literally, melee is right over there. Hopefully, zombies don't actually get all the way over here and zombie raid. That would be a bit of a pain, to be honest. Let's just make all of the wood unstacked. We don't even have enough space in our inventory. Let's make some walls as well. Yeah, we'll do the doorway over there. Alright, there we go. Now we gotta do the doorways. And then we'll place the doors in a way that if we keep them all both open, they wouldn't still be able to go deep. Alright, roof. And over here we could do a hole. And then we'll do a ladder for the second roof. There we go, ladder. Later on we'll do a hatch and the doors as well, obviously. But yeah, two floors is gonna look pretty good. And we should have enough wood to build this whole base. Let's place all of the pillars. And the triangular bit, maybe we could put it like with shelves. And we'll put everything that's placeable over there. I think that would be a pretty cool idea. Yeah, I think we're gonna actually run out of wood. So we may need to go get more. Alright, there's more wood down here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't have enough anyway though, to be honest. Frost is also looting military. Maybe he'll get himself some walnuts. Or some high tier PvP guns. Yeah, we literally only need a couple more wood for the triangular roof. So let's go get a few more. Plus we need for storage as well. Alright, we may have enough now. Let's just get one more. Just to have a bit extra, you know. And then we'll just place the logs on the floor. Alright, yeah, let's go back. Alright, perfect. We got ourselves the roof. We'll put that right over there. Base is done. Right, I need to make myself a door, but for some reason, it is not showing up. Oh, we need crafting, that's why. Alright, yeah, I should have enough. There we go, perfect. We need to make two doors and a hatch. Alright, first one over there. Second one over there. We made ourselves some crates as well. For now, we'll place them at the top. Maybe later on, we'll do an industrial box as well. I think that would be much better. Right, let's do some more. Let's use all of the wood, actually. Because we're gonna need quite a ton of storage. We'll put that one over there as well. We'll put this one up here. Yeah, we have way too much storage now, to be honest. But I'm gonna do them all anyway. Alright, there we go. Now we do have some tape that we can place on the floor. Tape is very, very important. And the base is technically done. Alright, so I'm going to salvage a kit. And we're gonna do the cloth in two beds. There we go. We got two beds. One for me and one for Frostatso. So that's pretty nice. I'm pretty sure on the server you can have multiple beds. Like bed one, bed two, all of that. Alright, there we go. Got ourselves a bed. Lovely. And now we can go finally loot. Alright, so I'm gonna loot this unmarked haze location, mainly for haze clothes, because our next step is obviously getting a ghost mask so that we can go to the dead zone. And we still need to get lotuses for that, but I'm still gonna start salvaging stuff, man, obviously. Get ourselves a rattlesnake, my favorite Polaris weapon, but I'm also going to go to the hospital and try to get myself even more copper coils. With two copper coils, we can make a horde beacon. Horde Beacon can give us Lotuses, and we wouldn't need Cyan Crystals or Roses for that. Just Copper Coil, which is very, very good in my opinion. Right, we're right over here. At the same time, maybe we can get ourselves, there's an Observer somewhere very close here. Maybe these dudes can drop a Blowtorch. But yeah, we'll take everything. Yeah, Blowtorch, perfect. Obviously, all of the sheets and all of that are good as well. Alright, these guys dropped nothing that good. At the same time, we're gonna get ourselves some meds as well. Mets are always good. Uh, my teammate is still looting military. I think he killed somebody as well. He got some loot. Alright, yeah. The copper coils are in here. Perfect. This one's untaken. Alright. Second copper coil. Lovely. Put those straight in vault. Four copper coil. I think that's... I think we can stack them all, to be honest, as well. Alright, let's go get the flower and the observer kill over here. And then all we would need left is a military drive. Alright, now let's kill this dude. Let's shoot him from behind. Right, he turns around, though. He's dead. We got ourselves another sign crystal. They will put those straight in vault. And we're gonna continue running around the map. Maybe we'll find ourselves some live bases. Obviously, we can't trade now, but at least we would know about them. Alright, so we're over at Haze. Came here for the boss zombie, obviously. Let's salvage these. Hopefully, this dude drops either a broken gas mask or a drive, man. That's all I want. Hopefully, he's actually here. Yeah, he is here. Let's go kill him. Alright, first magazine in. He hit me as well. And he's dead and... Um, okay. Well, what? There's so much items on the floor. Alright, well, I did not expect that. Well, we got what we needed. I'm gonna take them all, obviously. Even the grenade launchers. Because they could give us grenades and all of that. Sentry barrels. So much right. We're, we don't even need to come back here ever again. Alright, well, I did not expect that. That's extremely way too high load. Other zombies drop normal, like, two to three items, but not the haze boss zombie. Alright, well, that's good to know. Alright, we're gonna put these here. 
We still need to get lotuses anyway. And we can, because we got everything. To make devastators, we still need a lot of items, but we'll put them in here for now. We got so much drives, we literally never need to get a single one ever again. That's so OP. I did get one biohazard roll, that's literally it. I was trying to make a biohazard hood, but not anymore. Yeah, we made another one too. Alright, well my next step is I'm just going to go straight to the truck, and I am going to get myself a lotus. We still need more, I think it's two per filter anyway. Alright, at the same time, let's check if there's anyone here, but it seems like the coast is clear. Yeah, I don't think, I, I don't see anyone. Because I don't want to get killed when I'm literally just getting myself a lotus. I also need to get myself military clothes, man, I still don't have any. Alright, let's hope for a duplicate as well, it may drop two. Let's get them out from our vault. We can get two because I did get other of Polaris flowers. First one gave us one, second one gave us one more, okay. Well, I hear a car. Oh, that's my teammate. Never mind. That scared me for a sec. Alright, so we can get ourselves a gauze mask now because we got the lotuses and we also got... Oh, detonator. Oh, okay. Let's go. That's EDMRE. Detonator is big. We just saved the lotus, basically. Alright, so I'm gonna make myself the gauze mask. We need cans and rope. Alright, there's some more metal over here. Yeah, we got all the grenade launchers, by the way, because the grenades inside can be used as normal grenades. So when we're doing C4, they may actually be very, very useful. Alright, filter has been crafted. Now we need a broken gauss mask. And we have ourselves a gauss mask. No extra filters, but it's more than enough. We also got ourselves a Brenter box, which is pretty lucky. Because they are quite rare. But yeah, now we're gonna depot everything that we have in here. Stuff I don't want to lose. And I hear steps. There's somebody outside our base. Yeah, Frost is nowhere close. I'm gonna go try to kill him. He's right there. He's dead. And... Oh, okay, he's geared. He has full military, he has a fully decked out walnut, night vision. Alright, well, we just did a mini Rex to riches because we only had a Moses and a rattlesnake. We got ourselves a military backpack, so that's actually really, really good. Now, salvage the Moses, let's put the attachments there. Alright, perfect, this is actually really good. Now I can use this gun in the dead zone. Absolutely amazing. Let's continue depot and then we'll start our run to the dead zone. Now we're over at the dead zone, got myself quite a ton of guns. Ammo and meds. Don't wanna die. So I dilute this two times basically. Two times loot. I don't understand how the boss zombie had much higher loot. But yeah, from here we're gonna focus on getting armored plates. Gunpowder mostly. Maybe some drums for all of the guns, such as 70 around 9mm. And 516 boxes as well would be sick. If we get gun parts, that's also good because then we can upgrade the penumbras and crizzies. Let's kill all of them. All right, we got ourselves a drum, lovely. Some more armored plates, Bevlar armored plates. A lot of armored plates, these guys are dropping all armored plates. Right, let's back up. Yeah, there's a lot of zombies too. Alright, we finished another drum. Alright, well, more armored plates. Bunch of more ammo, that's pretty nice. Gun oil, there's one more gunpowder, perfect. The more gunpowder, the better, to be honest. We got ourselves a 70mm drum. Let's use that. Another drum, 4556. Five, more gunpowder, amazing. Gun parts. I picked up a power plant helmet, we don't need that. There's another zombie, about dead. Three more drums. We're getting quite a ton of loot, to be honest. Two times loot, but we're getting uh, pretty good items, man. Oh yeah, my vault is full, so let's just start dumping stuff in there. Now inside, there's still a bunch of more zombies that are usually trapped in a small area. So we'll go try to kill them next. Alright, so let's refill all of our boxes so that we can dump the empty magazines. It'll give us a ton of more space. Yeah, I kind of brought some random junk. I brought gauze cans with me as well. Those can be useful for a hard beacon. Because we can make it into a generator. So I don't really want to lose those. Yeah, Frost is currently covering as well. If he sees people coming into the dead zone, he's probably gonna try to kill them. Alright, let's do this. Parkour. Yeah, there's zombies right over there. Gunpowder. Is that it? Is that the only dude in here? Alright, this one drop. False chair. Lovely. It's very nice. Right, I do want the med kit. Let's just organize our inventory a bit. There we go. We got everything. And let's get out of here. I'm gonna home. Really, really happy with this dead zone run. Alright, we are back in base. Absolutely. Lovely, now it's time to probably spend quite some time to place all of the armor, plates, and everything. But yeah, this is the total amount of gunpowder that we got. We got six. Pretty good. That's three C4. And I still haven't checked if we can actually buy stuff in this server.
Uh, Frosta said, yeah, there's people apparently. Oh, he killed them nice. Any insane loot? Yeah, he has quite a ton of guns, ton of ammo. Nico, pretty good gun. Alright, also that dude that I've killed rage quit. This dude that Frosta just killed rage quit as well. Making the whole server rage quit. Yeah, we're back in base. Uh, this is the Tower of Armor place that I did. I still didn't pick everything up because I was still placing stuff. Then Frosta said he needed help, but then he killed him anyway. But yeah, we're gonna continue where we left off. Now maybe I'll make a industrial box very soon. I'm gonna loot military as well. Maybe there are some people. We'll try to kill them. Alright, so I'm currently running around the map looking for maybe some bases that we can raid. So now I did find some small ones, but I do want to find big ones to be honest. I don't want to raid small wooden 2 by ones today. You know, all of these crates had absolutely nothing. An ammo box, that's okay. But yeah, we'll also check the sewers because usually sewers are the easiest to take over. A lot of people don't check them. And usually they are actually always with armored doorways and doors. Yeah, the barn is also taken over, I think. Let's actually check the whole area. Yes, sir, it is actually fully unraided. Alright, well, we found the barn. Well, I think I actually found uh, a base here. We're literally at the borders of the map. And usually, yeah, there are bases over here. Yeah, it's built on ice. And it is actually unrated. All right, well, we just found ourselves an insane base raid. I think this is what we're gonna raid first. So maybe we could home. Yeah, a lot of people left the server as well. Literally every single person that we killed has left. So at the same time, it's good because we can raid in peace. There's still a duo on. And they're bandits and all of that. Alright, well, I'm gonna home and I'm going to make C4. Now, apparently on the server, you can actually buy stuff. You can buy lotuses. And I have played on these servers before, so money did add up. Especially on streams. Yeah, we just bought ourselves a bunch of gunpowder. Now, I don't think you can actually buy grenades. But thankfully, we got all of the grenades from the grenade launchers. Yeah, I still need crafting three anyway. So I'm just gonna go chop down a bunch of trees. We could have just done this from the start, man. We didn't have to grind how we did... But it's fine. Now, obviously, money, you get it, I think, from playing. And I've played quite a ton on these servers, to be honest. Almost every stream I go on these servers. I was unaware that there was a shop, though. So I literally never bought anything. So we're gonna probably spend them all today. But it's good, because we can do some insane base raids. All right, let's kill zombies as well. I don't know if there are any left, because my teammate did just clear out military. Yeah, there's a zombie right over there. Yeah, there's literally no zombies. Yeah, I heard a couple over here. Yeah, my teammate is in base as well. He's dead. Also, if you guys do want to play on the server, the IP and the port will be in the description below. I don't think I've mentioned this. Alright, so killing deer actually gives us a lot of XP. So if I see any animals, they're dead. Yeah, I've been chopping down trees, getting XP. We still need some more. Oh, there's one more right over here. Yeah, we should have enough. I kind of feel bad, but at the same time, we need the XP, man. At the same time, we got ourselves some logs, so that's, that's pretty nice. Alright, so now it is time to craft the C4. Absolutely amazing. Our base is already cramped up. My teammate started upgrading it a bit as well to metal. I'll place all of the logs over here. Actually, maybe I can make myself an industrial crate. Alright, so we need cotton wool and tape for that. We should have, or I could literally just buy it probably. Yes, sir, we got cotton wool, tape. We got more tape over here. We got ourselves an industrial wooden crate. Absolutely lovely. You know, put this literally downstairs. So that right over there. This one has a lot of storage actually. Damn. All right, and as for the remaining of the wood, we'll just make them all into logs. Place them right over here. Perfect. Make it a look a bit cozy. You know, put that one over there. All right, so I'm getting all of the lotuses and the tape and the grenades in my inventory. So we're gonna moss craft all of the C4. Now, in this server, there is base health since there is a shop, so it may take us quite a ton. Hopefully, we will have enough, though. Because since it's metal, it's gonna quit take us quite a lot. I'm pretty sure. Let's take all of the grenades. Yo, we're not even going to use the grenade launchers till now, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, we need crafting three, I forgot about that. Alright, so we got a 3C4 till now. Not that bad. We need more tape to do this. So maybe I can buy more tape, or we can just go and get a couple. But I think it's time to maybe go and try to raid... Alright, well, I did buy a ton of tape. Got ourselves a couple more C4. Got ourselves the fourth C4 as well. I got the ID. Oh, yeah, we cannot buy grenades. Right, let's place the remaining Glotuses. We still got a ton. We can buy a lot more as well. And since we're a duo, he also has quite a ton of money. And he plays a lot on these servers. Alright, let's go do some base trades. My teammate is shooting. Is there? Oh, there's a mega zombie. Oh, yeah, he's gonna drop a billion of these as well. Oh, perfect. Easy grenades. Honestly, that's what we really need next, to be honest. Just grenades for, from grenade launchers. I don't get it. 
I don't understand how normal zombies just has two times loot or at most three times, but then boss zombies have like 50 times loot. I think they spawn very rarely because we've been to Haze multiple times as well, but they have not spawned again. It's just the one that we killed at the very, very start, which was like an hour ago and they still haven't spawned. So I assume they're very, very rare. All right, so all those nades that we just got from the Mega Zombie, I'm gonna make them into C4. So we got two more. It's pretty nice. Yeah, we got... We got quite a ton of C4, we have like 8 C4, so that should be pretty good uh, since there's base health as well. I think that's going to be enough for a metal base. So that's what we're gonna go for next, we're gonna go do a raid, our first raid, hopefully it won't be empty. I'm actually scared they're gonna be empty to be honest, since a lot of people do log off with loot on this game, especially if there's a vault system, but we're still gonna give it a try, man. Right, so we are here, it's time to raid. I really hope we're gonna get something good. Alright, well, we should definitely raid somewhere back here. Alright, let's try with 4C4 till now. Let's hope it's gonna be enough. Let's raid one by one, though. So that we don't accidentally raid more than we need to. Oh, yeah, it was enough. Alright, 4C4 was enough. And there's some lockers over here. And there's even more lockers over here. And this is a three-man base. Let's destroy all of the beds. There we go. There's a broken gas mask here. It's already used half our C4. Just to get in. Let's put a C4 there. Maybe one will be enough. They have uh, a penguin in here. Is that, that's a real penguin, actually. I thought it was a, a fake one. All right. Well, he's dead. And yeah, they all broke. All right. Well, I see grenades, Brenter ammo, a bunch of gunpowder, a bunch of guns, a bunch of clothes. Brenter, even a Brenter box. That's really, really good, actually. There's a walnut. Yeah, a bunch of swath clothes. I'm definitely going to get full swath. That's a definite. They have parachutes. I'm gonna take the grenades. That's what we really need right now. Yeah, they have SWAT top, SWAT bottom, SWAT helmet. Right, let's drop the navy. There we go. We got SWAT clothes, SWAT vest, even more gunpowder. I don't know if we profited, to be honest. We did get the Brenter, though. That's actually really, really good. The only thing we need for a full SWAT is a SWAT backpack. Let's take that casing for 12.7. Alright, let's go up. Alright, let's get ourselves... A C4, we'll put that there. Now Frosta's gonna raid it. Alright, they all broke. And a uh, bunch of clothes by the looks of it. Mercenary backpack. Oh, SWAT backpack, even more gunpowder. A bunch of night vision. Mercenary clothes. Yeah, these guys are pretty stacked, to be honest. They had a lot of uh, high tier clothes. A lot of gunpowder. They were definitely to the dead zone a billion times. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. We use 6 C4 for this. Not too bad, to be honest. Alright, that's where... The black buckler as well, yeah, we're... Looks kind of epic, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, he gave me mercenary clothes, but yeah, it's fine. I have I have SWAT. Alright, let's make sure that we didn't leave anything. And then we will home. Probably need to craft C4 again. Because if we find an armored base or something like that, we need to get way more C4 than this. Because we only have two left. Alright, when I'm running around in the sewers, I checked the DLO bunker, but it was taken over. Currently, we are in red. Trying to see if they are raided or not. At the same time, I'm getting... Uh, access to opening and closing them as well i get very lost in these though i am not that used to the sewers to be honest i did do a full series living in the sewers but yeah i didn't really explore them just having a base down here bro i am so lost but yeah i do want to find where the bunkers are and i do want to check if they're raided or not hopefully they aren't man all right so yeah i think i'm a pretty new area wait am i all right let's check out there we go we all right we get enabled power so that's good. Currently on the server is us and another duo. So we're pretty chill. Maybe we'll find their base, dude. I actually do really want to find their base. But I have no idea where. Oh, there we go. We found... Oh, yeah. It's armored. All right. We're going to raid this next, probably, then. All right. So I am back in base. I'm going to craft C4 with the gunpowder that we got from the raid. I think we can craft more anyway. I just bought myself some tape. Yeah, we got ourselves a couple of C4. And we can make more from the gunpowder that we got. You crafted three more. I think that can be enough. I think it takes like 6 C4 to go through. We crafted two more though. Crafted another one. Yeah, we should have plenty now. So let's just put the Lotus on the floor there. Alright, let's TPA because Frosta is next to the bunker. Hopefully it's gonna be enough, man. Imagine all of these C4 aren't enough. Alright, let's just start placing them. If it takes more than 8 C4, I'm probably gonna go crazy. Alright, here we go. 4 C4. We are not through, obviously. Let's, now let's place one by ones. Because maybe somebody already tried to raid and it's already damaged and I don't want to waste. Alright, another one. Still did not break. Let's place this one next. Still didn't break. Do I even have any more? 
And we do have two more in our vault. And then we would be completely out, man. Alright, we are through. And there's a bunch of crates. Lovely. Attachments. Nothing. Nothing. Alright. Well, this one has a bunch of junk by the looks of it. Penumbra. I'll take that. That's actually really good. High tier PvP gone. Other than that, though, there's a walnut. There's a bunch of more crates over here. Some casings for Brenter. A bunch of armored plates. That's really good. There's a drill on the floor, too. Bunch of rope. Well, not that good, to be honest. There's another armored door over there. I don't think it's a good idea to raid this, to be honest. But yeah, this raid wasn't that good. We definitely did not profit. We got ourselves a penumbra. That's pretty nice. But other than that, not good. And a drill. That's the only two things that we've got that I would consider them as good loot. Alright, so I've been looting around quite a bit, farming grenades more than anything. I do have some more C4, we did craft a couple more. We did go back to Haze, obviously the boss zombie didn't spawn. Waiting in military for another maybe mega zombie, but obviously did not spawn either. But we did get quite a ton of grenades. But yeah, I'm gonna go check the sewers once again. This time we'll probably check the other colors. We still need to check blue, green, I think that's it. Hopefully those are claimed as well, so maybe we'll get ourselves some more insane base trades. Yeah, we are through, we're right next to the red one. And I'm pretty sure from red we can make it to the other colors as well. Just gotta figure it out. Alright, so I'm currently running around there in blue. And it's also claimed. That's nice. Found another one. I don't know if we should raid it to be honest, but maybe this one is better than the previous one. I do have some C4. I crafted them some time ago. Above the ground we didn't find any more to be honest. Alright, here we go. Let's give it a try. Grenade or grenade. Thank you. That's big. Alright, we put 7 C4. That's what we have. Let's do them separately. We don't have any more C4 after this. We would need to farm once again. I don't think we're gonna have enough. Yeah, 7 C4. And we are not through. I did bring the Brenter. I do have the ammo for it. We do have like 3 boxes, I'm pretty sure. So that's 30 shots, which is pretty nice. Hopefully it'll be enough. If it's not gonna be enough, then I don't know, man. This has to be the strongest door ever. Oh, we are through. Okay, well, big crates. Alright, well, I already see a uh, lots of loot. Oh, yeah, they are actually stacked. Gunpowder. Another gauze mask. That's big. A bunch of penguins. Right, I really want to know what's inside this one. Let's check out this one, though. A bunch of junk. A bunch... They have so much armor plates. There's a claimed bed here. Let's destroy it. There's a crazy in here. Brenters. Walnuts. A bunch of attach... Those attachments are good. Those are the good attachments. They're not just... They're B BVL or whatever they're called. Grenade launchers... Broken gas mask, full sweat outfit. Well, the problem is we need to raid those armored garages. Now, we don't have enough to raid them, 100%. So we're gonna have to grind eight sun for those. So I'm gonna take the gunpowder. There's some gunpowder here and there. There's, an armor, there's another armored door over here as well. Maybe we could try to raid with the Brenter, but I don't think we're gonna have enough to raid an armored garage with it, to be honest. But yeah, we're gonna raid it, definitely. The Brenters, Gons. It's a shame they're empty. I'm gonna take the BVL stocks and Reaper. Fully decked out Krizzy was nice, too. There's three detonators in here. Get ourselves another grenade. Let's make it into a normal one. I mean, I can... I think I may have some money to buy. If not, then we'll just grind. Yeah, gunpowder. We do have quite a ton of gunpowder back from it. I think I can make, like, 3C4 already. And I think there's still some more gunpowder in base. Alright, we made 4C4. It wasn't enough, obviously. This one did break. Yeah, we can make more C4. But I'm gonna use the Brenter, perhaps. So it's gonna take us a while to go through, man. Hopefully it'll be worth it, though. Oh, we're through. Oh my god, there's a bunch of boxes. Bro, stuff isn't even loading that quick. There's so much stuff. There's energized snowballs. There's so much junk in here. Oh my, there's also key blueprints. Oh, gunpowder. A lot of metal. Oh my god, all right. We got ourselves four gunpowder. That's two C4. This one is full of armored... This one is literally full of armored plates, man. These are really, really good. Uh, military crates. God knows what those have. We're gonna get so much junk from just these military crates. All right, let's start unboxing them, man. I don't even care. Yeah, false share already on the floor. Gunpowder already... Dude, look at all of this loot. Lotuses. Even more gunpowder. there. Penumbras for days. Bro, look at all of this loot. Alright, that's kind of stupid that they didn't unbox them, to, the, to be honest. Alright, well, we're gonna, we're gonna take a while to actually move all of this loot, man. Alright, let's raid this big locker, because it may be like C4 locker or something. But these guys are stacked. This has to be one of the best sewer raids ever done on Polaris, man. This one is just full of clothes. Yeah, these guys are organized. Look at all of those guns on the floor, man. Another gunpowder there. 
Alright, can this thing break already? We've put like 10 shots into it already. Still didn't break. Right, I need to drink something because I'm dehydrating. I don't know if this will help. Bro, this is insane. Alright, well, I think Frosta went to depot. Alright, let's put all of these in there. They have a sign saying, Da baby, let's go. Bro, there's so much that it takes my game to load for a second because of all the loot that there is. They have a billion chainsaws too. Let's continue raiding this. We still need to raid the other garage, man, but maybe we have enough. Okay, broke and it's just wood. Alright, well, I'm kind of disappointed with that, to be honest. In the crates, they put everything, but in the locker, they put wood. That doesn't make sense, to be honest. But it's fine, man. We're still gonna get everything. Now, we could break all of these, by the way. In the end, we should definitely do that. I don't think these energized snowballs raid, though. Yeah, these guys did the quests if they have these snowballs. Yeah, they didn't do any damage, I think. Alright, maybe we should depot before we continue raiding, to be honest. Because there's way too much loot on the floor. We could build literally the biggest base ever. I literally just crafted the C4 just from the items that I had in my inventory. Alright, so we're currently just farming for grenades, man. We ran out. We don't have any more. Hopefully, these zombies give us grenades quickly. Because I really want to finish that raid. Yeah, they're not dropping. Oh, grenade. Let's go. We need way more than one, though. I'm going to be honest. All right, well, Frosta just opened all of the military crates and it's all on the floor. And that's basically what we got. That has to be probably the best sewer raid I've ever done in Unturned. Let's take the gunpowder. The gunpowder is honestly what we really need, to be honest. I mean, penumbras are nice, mercenary clothes are nice, but honestly, do we really need that much? Probably not. Just gunpowder is good. Right, let's put these guns in there, though. And the backpacks, maybe we die? I don't know. But I'll keep them there for now, definitely. I'm gonna go continue farming for grenades. Well, the boss zombie still has not spawned, obviously. That's great to know. I don't know if I should wait a bit. Last three times we came here, he didn't spawn. He only spawned once. So, I don't know what's going on with him. Alright, so it's currently a full moon, which is good. So we're gonna farm zombies for as much grenades as possible. Frost already got quite a ton because he was farming here this whole time when I went to put like a full Brenter box in that garage door. But we still need as much as possible because, I don't know, maybe full of lockers and we would need even more after that anyway. I'm not getting any though. Alright, so full moon is almost over. We did get quite a ton of C4. We did shoot down all of those crates as well. We already did quite a ton of damage with the Brenter, so for now we'll just put 6 C4, but we're still gonna raid them individually. Alright, let's salvage these. Yeah, there's a bunch of crates and two lockers as well. I'm just gonna raid them, man, honestly. So we don't have to check everything, we'll just get on the floor. Okay, well, yeah, this is really good. There were two C4 down there too. Right, let's just salvage them, and we're gonna shoot them all down. Now, hopefully, lockers will break as well. Right, here we go. Yeah, we did break one of the lockers. This one has a bunch of guns, a bunch of crizzies, a bunch of walnuts. This one is just full of attachments. And this one's just full of guns as well. This one is where the good stuff is. There's a bunch of grenades, some gunpowder, a bunch of lotuses, a bunch of more gunpowder. Yeah, Frosta took the 2C4 as well that was at the bottom of the crate. Not too bad, to be honest. I am actually really, really happy with this raid, man. But yeah, let's finish raiding this locker too. Shouldn't take that much. It's quite damaged. Uh, and it broke, and it looks like one gunpowder and a bunch of more attachments than guns. There's so much attachments in here, man. Jesus. All right, yeah, we are done with this raid. I'm really, really happy, man. Let's take everything. All of this tape is very important. That gunpowder as well. Can make even more C4. All right, boys. So after that, I did leave the server. It was a very, very good run. It did take us quite a ton of time to finish, though. But I hope that you guys did enjoyed this video if you guys do want to see more similar like this in the future let me know in the comment section below if you guys do want to play on the server it is called high pass ipm port will be in the description below and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye